Coming to, uh, to you from here in Pennsylvania, where Rick Santorum is a former uh, U.S. Senator. He was uh, booted from office in 2006 by voters, replaced by Robert Casey Jr. But Rick Santorum has never really gone away, unfortunately. He still writes a twice-a-month uh, column for the Philadelphia Inquirer, and today he has a piece on the Politico in which he says he is alarmed by Barack Obama's, quote, zealot nominees uh, at the Department of Justice, uh, people who are zealots because they apparently support abortion rights. Uh, Santorum sort of couches his concern uh, in terms of the Born Alive Infant Protection Act. You know, he's worried that even this, you know, uh, the most rational uh, restriction on abortion is is being rejected by these zealot nominees. But the reality is that Santorum is having a hard time accepting the fact that, you know, we now have a Democratic liberal president uh, in the White House, and that means that the nominees that he puts forth, not just for the Justice Department, but also for the Supreme Court of the United States, are probably going to be pro-choice, as, as Obama is. Uh, you know, this is an attempt by Santorum and, and those on the right to, you know, skew the debate and, you know, further, you know, their own ideas, their own cause, which they had a chance to do, you know, under uh, the Bush presidency. The game has changed now, and conservatives like Santorum seem to have a hard time understanding that when the public sort of rejected their party, it rejected their policies, and as a result of that, we are now going to have different policies. Radically different policies? Perhaps. Perhaps radically different policies from what Rick Santorum considers to be appropriate. But that's what the voters wanted. That's what the voters voted for last November. And, you know, it's ridiculous to sort of see the fact that they voted for a Barack, uh, a President Barack Obama and didn't think they were going to get, you know, uh, pro-choice nominees for the Justice Department as well as the Supreme Court. You know, this is what the American public voted for. Rick Santorum is trying to make the claim in this article that this isn't what the American public voted for. I think he misreads the result of last fall's election.